If you get the opportunity to stop by UW-Whitewater's Crossman Gallery, you'll see a new display featuring photography from the Dean of the College of Arts and Communication, Dr. Mark McPhail. Dr. McPhail, I thought we could talk about, just first of all, the photography exhibit features photos from Africa. What brought you to the continent in the first place? I went to Tanzania, or as we pronounce it in this country, Tanzania, in 2006 as a consultant for the United Nations uh, for the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. I was an expert witness. And at the end of my testimony, I had the opportunity to spend some time in the country, and I went and I did a little bit of photography and um, went and did a short safari. So a couple of the images come from that uh, experience. And then I also work with the Uganda American Partnership Organization, which is a not-for-profit NGO, which is um, providing educational and uh, economic support to folks in Uganda. And um, since I've visited there a couple of times uh, as part of that organization, I've also taken some time to do some photography. And, and there's quite a variety in subject matter, too. You've got some photos of different animals and different people. Were you looking for certain things to photograph, or did, it, did you just take what came naturally? Well, when I'm photographing people, I never want to just photograph them without asking permission. And so um, all the photographs here of individuals are individuals whom I asked if uh, I could take their photos. Um, most of the work that I've done in the past has been landscape photography and some nature photography and some fine art photography. And um, people have always said, you never have any people in your photographs. So I wanted to try something different in Africa. And because we were there to work with people, um, and to actually interact with and meet with the people. So when I was there for UAPO, uh, Uganda American Partnership Organization, we actually worked on building an orphanage um, uh, out in the middle of Uganda. And so I had an opportunity to interact with a lot of the people who live there as well as a lot of the children. And so I wanted to try and give some insight into their lives. Uganda had gone through a very difficult civil war. And so many of the people had been displaced from their land and were basically living in refugee camps. And so um, we were trying to help to reconnect them with the land and give them educational um, opportunities that they otherwise would not have had. Whenever we speak with faculty and students about their study abroad opportunities, they're always shocked because they go into a country with certain expectations and then they come out of it an entirely different person. Was there something about your travel in Africa that changed you as a person or, or that really surprised you upon traveling there? Well, the name of the exhibit is Omowale, A Sun Returns. And I'd say, I don't know if it changed me as much as kind of brought me back to myself. Um, one of the experiences that I had when I was in Tanzania was returning to the airport with uh, the gentleman who was worked with the UN, he was uh, UN security. And as we were driving, he said, did you, you know, did you have a nice time? And I said, yeah. And he said, have you ever been to Africa before? And I said, no. And he said, well, it took you a long time to come home. So it really was, in, in my mind, a homecoming. Um, I've written about Africa uh, in my, my scholarship, and I've studied Africa over the years, but this was the first time I ever had a chance to go. Well, we appreciate you sharing your photography and your experiences with us, and it will be here at Crossman Gallery until July 14th. It's open weekdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and it's free to the public. We hope you get a chance to see it.